Hey guys, PK here. So today I'm going to show you how to tie a really simple rig for bottom fishing. Uh, this rig is for beginners who are just starting to learn fishing. Um, this rig is used for bottom fishing for trout, uh, panfish, or you know, bullhead catfish. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to need a swivel and sinker and a hook with a leader. Um, these are pre-snelled. They look like this. You can get these at Bymar for about 99 cents. They're pretty cheap. Um, it saves you a lot of time from tying leaders because the idea of fishing is to, you know, spend more time fishing. Okay, so let's say that's your main line. I hope you can see that. So that's the end of your line right there. So you're gonna make a simple loop like that, okay? Probably not that long, somewhere around there. Now you're gonna tie a simple overhand knot. So there's one, and you're gonna go through it one more time. Two, just like that. And then just cinch it up. Tight, really tight. Be careful when you pull on braid line because it'll slice your finger. It's pretty sharp. <clears throat> pretty tough, I mean. Okay. So cut off the tag end. And there you have it, just like that. Now you're gonna tie a swivel to the end of that loop, which is pretty easy. So you make a little point like that with that loop and then the eye of the swivel you're going to thread it right through that eye okay just like that now open up that hole a little bit and you're going to take this swivel and you're going to drop it right through okay just like that so, in case that was too quick, so you're going to drop the swivel right through that loop, okay? Cinch it up. So that's not going nowhere, okay? That's for your sinker, okay? So up from the sinker, from your swivel, you want to tie your first hook. Um, there's your hook there. You want to make a loop in your main line, okay? Just fold it, make make a little loop, just like that. And you take your pre-snell leader. Now through that eye, you're gonna put that loop you just made through it, okay? Just like that. Now you're gonna keep on wrapping that loop through that eye about twice. If you're insecure like me, three times at least. So that way it doesn't slide. So, one, two, and three. Like that. So that's what it's going to look like. So that loop is wrapped around that eye. Okay? Now, you're going to take this hook, you, you're going to go right through the, the little loop you made, okay? Right through there, just like that. Now, you pull on your main line, pull on it, and that's going to tighten up. Don't pull too tight because you remember you got a hook at the end here. You don't want to impale yourself. Just like that. Now, just grab your main line, tighten up as best you can. Maybe wet it a little bit with saliva. You want to make sure that is really tight. And that way, this hook will not slide along your main line. So there it is. 
So there's your leader, and then there's your swivel. Okay. So now to the swivel, you're going to attach a sinker. Um, these bank sinkers. Open up your swivel. Just attach it like that. Okay. So you have a bottom rig. Just like that. If you want to switch out your sinker, that's why you have a swivel because it's easy to change to another sinker. Little teardrop sinker. Okay. Like that. And there's your rig. Now, if you want to tie another hook on, it's the same way you tie that one. So make sure um, you, the, you check the regulation in your state and they, they allow multiple hooks. So again, if you want to tie another hook on, make another loop. Go to it. You can hold the end there like that. In that loop, you can go through the eye. The more time you go through that eye, the tighter it is, so it doesn't slip on you. But then again, if this rig is for, you know, bullheads, trout, panfish, they're not going to pull hard. So that it's pretty safe to say uh, it won't be going nowhere. Okay. I think that was four times. So there it is. Take that hook. Go through that loop. And then just cinch it up like that. Get it really tight, maybe wet it. You want to make sure that it's as tight as you can get. You know, if you're using braid, again, be careful because braid is very, very tough. It'll slice your finger. Okay. So that is a basic bottom rig. Um, you can keep on going up and tie as many hook on as you want. So there it is. Alright? So there is another version of this, but I'll show it to you later. So that's it. Basic bottom rig. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time.